terminal velocity the maximum constant velocity gained by a spherical body falling in a viscous medium when drag force is equal to the weight of that object before it starts falling the weight is mg the drag force is zero as it's at rest and so the net force becomes mg during its journey in the to, in the downward direction the weight still remains mg fd becomes now non zero as the velocity is increasing and the net force becomes mg minus 6 pi eta rv later on during the downward motion a moment comes when the drag force is numerically equal to the weight of the object at that point the net force becomes zero and no further increase in velocity and that is now the constant and maximum velocity which we call the terminal velocity this can be written as equating these two terms we get the terminal velocity equation which is given by mg by 6 pi eta rv here m is the mass g is the gravitational acceleration 6 pi is the constant eta is the viscosity r is the radius of that sphere a spherical body and uh we should skip it here v okay this equation is only valid for constant mass of different radii if we further explore the mass can be written as density into volume this is density rho volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube putting this value of volume in this equation we get this data carrying out the necessary cancellation finally what we get we get this equation for terminal velocity which is 2 rho g r square divided by 9 eta and this is as for constant density so the relation is that vt terminal velocity is directly proportional to the square root of the uh, square of the radius of that spherical object like and subscribe for more interesting ideas regarding the physics thanks